All right, I am here to show you what I got. I went to a couple of stores this past week, some Goodwills and some Thrift Worlds. Picked up a few things to resell, so I'm going to let you know what I got. I plan on reselling these on eBay. Uh, why am I spacing out where I'm selling from? Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and Depop. I currently list on those five platforms. eBay and Poshmark switch off and on for my best platforms. I am a full-time reseller. If you're new here, my name's Heather, so please consider subscribing if you like reseller content. I do three videos a week, thrift hauls, what sold videos. Please give this video a thumbs up and we will get into it. Look at my weird hair. I woke up late this morning from a text from a friend saying there was a church garage sale at their church, but it was just a, like a little church in Counts of Bluffs and it was like not it. <laughs> It wasn't good. There was hardly any clothes and shoes, which, you know, is what I normally sell. So, I don't know. I haven't gone to garage sales as much this year. Sometimes I like to go, but sometimes I feel like it's a waste of time. Um, because, like, just, like, driving from house to house to house, not knowing what's going to be there sometimes, what the prices are going to be like. So, I kind of have to just do it more for fun. And then if I find stuff, that's great. But otherwise, I would rather spend my time sourcing in thrift stores. Okay, let's get into what I got. I'm going to let you know what I picked up, how much I paid for it, and currently what it is selling for on eBay or Poshmark, if I can find it. Otherwise, I'll give you kind of an average just from my experience from what I know. Okay, so these are a pair of dance go shoes. I kind of just knew it by looking at it like this when I saw it on the shelf. After you've been selling for so long, you recognize certain brands, certain styles. These are... A size 38 and I paid $7.99 for these so lately the dance go like boots kind of style like this or sandals have been doing better for me than like the clogs so there's usually a style number in here somewhere but I'm having a hard time finding it right now so I'll just look for it later but yeah size 38 which I think is equivalent to like a women's eight so these should do well my guess would be 30 to 50 I know that's a huge range but <laughs> we'll see um, I definitely want to get at least 30 for them, so that'd be the lowest that I would take, unless I just keep them forever, which we hope will not happen. I had to get these, they're not much they'll sell for, but they're like kid Doc Martens. I'm like, okay, with back to school and fall coming up, I couldn't leave them behind. They were on a new cart that just came out, they were $5.99. Just a pair of like classic Doc Martens, they're a US size 2. There is a style number inside here, so I'll look those up. They have a little bit of scuffing on the toes, but I might be able to use my like leather Doc Martin Wonder Balsam and clean that up. Otherwise, they're in pretty good condition. So, yeah, I was excited to get these. I mean, I don't know if they'll sell more than like 20 bucks, but I'm like, ah, uh, I have to get them. Okay. I have the most like random bags of stuff over here. Oh, these are for Grace, a pair of Nike shorts black Nike shorts. This dress is super pretty. I'm still like doing research on it. I put it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, all of that information's down below. It is by this brand, Thea, I think is how you say it. Definitely a huge bolo brand. These dresses are really expensive. I looked it up by the style number on Google and it didn't bring anything up, which is really annoying. But I ended up having some people on Instagram send me some pictures. I think it's called the petal dress. So it's a size eight. And here's what mine looks like. And I don't know if I found an exact comp yet, but I've seen some of these dresses selling for like over $500, but I don't know if mine, it might just go for a couple hundred, whatever. So it looks like a three quarter fitted sleeve with a V-neck, but it has like these little, almost like petals. So they start small up here and then they go all the way down um, and then get bigger at the bottom. It's super, super pretty. It's got a slip liner underneath. So that was really exciting. I paid $14.99 for this dress. This was at a St. Vincent de Paul, which I don't go to a ton. But I will go there every once in a while. So that's really exciting. I am super excited to get that listed. I feel like it might not sell quick, but I guess you never know. Also at that store, I was like, oh, I found some black Ugg boots. They were like a leather ankle style and they weren't priced i'm like oh, i'll just bring them up so the lady up front was like let me go ask somebody what they're supposed to be at and she's just taking a while i'm like oh great this isn't good so she like came back and she's like okay well we looked these up on ebay <laughs> i'm like oh no <laughs> so we're gonna charge 25 dollars. i'm like no i was like i would pay like six or seven and that's it 
So I was just nice. I'm like, okay, yeah. Like, she's like, they're really expensive. I'm like, yeah, I know. Okay, next, a pair of Keen shoes. I just sold two pairs of Keens this last week. If you didn't watch my recent What Sold video, I'll pop it up here. I think I'm pointing in the right direction. I hope so. Um, yeah, so they both have been selling really quick. One was a men's pair. One was a women's pair of sandals. These are a women's size 7, and they're just like this striped canvas slip-on Mary Jane style. It actually has Velcro, I think. Oh, no, it's just, it's just slip-on, and it's just stretchy right here. So that does not come off. These are in excellent condition. Hardly any signs of wear. So I definitely wanted to get those. Like I said, Keen has been selling great for me lately. Yes, please. Okay, a receipt. Oh my gosh. And then next I got this Dooney and Burke purse. This store actually doesn't really mark up their purses very much. So that's exciting. And then here's the logo or like nameplate right there. It also says genuine on the back. Florentine Vachetta leather. <laughs> if I'm saying any of that wrong, correct me. So I don't know the style name on this. I did not look it up. I just was going to pick it up because it was so cheap. So it is $8.99, which is amazing. I'm not hardly get, selling any purses anymore because most of my purses came from my thread up rescue boxes and they were getting so bad and the cost of goods was just not it so I'm not getting very many anymore here's the inside here and then here's the little tag you want to look for for like authentication this like red white and blue one and there is a serial number in the back so maybe that'll have the style number of this bag I'll have to look it up but I was excited to get this I feel like it's really pretty and it's in good condition I think I just need to clean it up a tiny bit, but otherwise I was like, yay. So that's exciting for $9. Also at that store, I got this Steo shirt. So I've only sold this once before in a sweatshirt and it sold for, I think $70. So I did not look up this. I just assumed that the sweatshirt sold for a lot. This shirt would be fine. It's a women's large. It's kind of like a denim chambray. It's got the pearl snaps. Um, long sleeve button up. So I will look up comps. I have just, like I said, I assumed it was good. I think they have a style number. It's organic cotton. Yeah, there's a style number right in the back. So I'll be able to look that up. I paid $3.99 for this shirt. Next is for Ryan. Okay, this is just a Western shirt for Ryan. Lucky brand, $4.99. I'll take that up to his bedroom. And then I did get this Catherine's kimono. I paid $3.99 for this. I have only been getting Catherine's in larger sizes. However, the kimonos sell in any size pretty well. It's a size 1X. It's just super pretty, flowy, like pink and red kimono. So I decided I would get that. I think it'll sell pretty quickly. My last ones that I had did, I think around 20 or 25 and the last thing from that store are these pair of Athleta pants. I did get these because they are newer within the last couple of years, plus they're a size 12, which is a great size. And also they are 100% linen. So I'll be able to look up. It looks like they're from spring of 2022, which is amazing. I paid $4.99 for these pants. So here they are. They're like black with a drawstring and zippers. And it looks like they go down to like a wide leg. I don't know. I know I've sold a lot of the like Cabo linen style. I don't know if that's what these ones are. But we'll see when I look up the style number. So that was it from that store. Let's see. I went to a random store yesterday. And I only found one thing for $3.99. But it is the brand Raffaello Rossi. I've never sold this before, but the comps looked really good for some of these dress pants. It has a style number on here. It says it is a size 42. And yeah, so they're navy blue pull on stretch with the zipper detail and they kind of go down to a tapered leg. So I'm going to have to look up the exact style, but I think I saw some of these pants selling for like $70 which is amazing. So we'll see how much these ones go for once I 
look up all of the information when I'm selling. Also, it looks like we have a save the date autumn restock. <laughs> That's kind of a funny little, funny little sign. I did notice the area where I go in that store, it was like kind of low with inventory. So maybe I need to go back soon. Okay, next. Next we have a pair of pants by Joseph Ribkoff. The last couple of times I've sold Joseph Ribkoff, it's actually been selling pretty quickly. These are a women's, duh, a US size six. Obviously they're women's. Um, kind of like a tropical leaf print. So this would have been better in the summer, but that's okay. They might be a little bit of a crop or ankle style. They have a slit here on the back, but they're really nice, stretchy material. So hopefully those will do good. We have a pair of Naot shoes. So these are like a brown leather, kind of a Mary Jean style um, shoe with a suede trim. These are a size 39. So I'll make sure in their size chart, but I'm guessing that's a women's size nine. This brand can do well sometimes. I just had a pair of sandals, however, that sat for quite a while and didn't sell that good. So I'm hoping these ones will do better with this style. And I paid $5.99 for those shoes. Next we have another kimono and this is by the brand Feathers by Tilani. This is a one size. I just got it because again kimonos have been selling really good for me. Just a really pretty like floral open um, style lightweight. This was from a local consignment store and they rip off this so I'm either going to have to try to find a receipt or remember but I think it was five bucks I think it was five dollars so we got that and then also at that store I got this dress it is new with tags and tailor which I kind of never get but if you know the trends you probably know why I got this it's 118 dollars it is that barbie pink color that everyone is looking for right now so it is a short sleeve dress it kind of gathers over there to the side and probably knee length. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. Also again, I think that was five or six dollars. So really cheap for a new tags and tailor dress. Okay, let's keep going. I am just gonna throw all that stuff around because I'll clean it up eventually. Okay, North Face, these North Face jackets and sweaters should be starting to sell pretty good here with fall. This one is a women's size medium, and it's just like this gray, classic, like fuzzy, almost Sherpa-like. So it's got the logo here, and then it has it on the back. Shoulder, it's in really nice condition. I paid $5.99 for this jacket. If it was a size large, I would like maybe keep it, but I like to like wear my jackets like one size bigger. Okay, I've been loving this brand lately, but I've never seen it in pants. It's the brand IC Collection. Usually the tag is red, so I don't know why this one is black. Maybe because it's pants. Um, it's a size small pair of just like beige pull-on stretchy pants with some button details at the bottom. So we will see if the pants sell as quickly and as well as the tops. Cat fight. Um, yeah, the other ones have been selling super fast. So I'll be interested to see what these pants do. Next is another Barbie pink item, a pair of Zaya Active size 14, 16, high rise, pull on leggings. Um, again, Zaya, it's kind of got a little bit of interesting detail in the back of the leg. Zaya has really slowed down for me, but I still have been selling a little bit decent on the larger sizes. Plus I figured with this color, $5.99. So I'm not picking it up a ton, but like every once in a while, I'm like still trying it. So we'll see. I'll be able to tell like over the next few months if it's something I want to continue picking up. Okay, I did a post on Instagram asking people what they think about Spanx because I feel like it's extremely slowed down for me. So I'm kind of being more selective. I'm not picking up um, the assets by Spanx really. There's the look at me now seamless leggings, I think, like Keegan was talking about to me that we don't really pick up anymore. The size small stuff is just like, ugh. So these are a size medium, but I really like these faux leather styles. It's a faux leather camo, high rise legging, stretch, extreme stretch, obviously. These are in really good condition and I paid $5.99 for these. 
So yeah, I am still picking them up, just trying to be more picky. And then the other pair were a size large. And these are just the solid black faux leather leggings. I feel like with fall coming up, it's going to be like really time to be wearing these. I kind of want a pair, but I would need medium and I just want the solid pair. So let's see if I can find some this year for myself. I'm definitely not paying retail and I don't even want to pay resale. I'm like so cheap. I don't even want to pay resale price. I want to pay like cheap thrift store pricing. Okay, next is Harley Davidson. I get this a lot if I see it cheap because it sells quickly for me usually. This is also a size extra large. Here's the back logo, which is probably what I'll use for my main photo. If the back of the shirt or jeans is more interesting than the front, I will use that for like for my first thumbnail picture. It's also got like a chest um, detail there. White long sleeve button up. Okay, a pair of jeans. These are a pair of high-waisted straight Levi's in a size 28. Here's the patch on the back. So these are a good like medium wash. They say straight. They almost kind of look like a little wide leg, but that's great. I think this will be a good style. I paid $7.99 for these jeans, so hoping to get at least $30. Also in that Harley F, I didn't say that, I paid $5.99. Okay. And then we have a pair of pants by Eileen Fisher. I think these are like the washable stretch crepe pants. These are a size petite large. They're navy blue. Um, yeah, really stretchy, straight leg down, just a good like minimalist style office. These were $5.99. So yes, please. Okay, I have a couple more little Goodwill bags and then we will be done. Another receipt. That's all gonna get figured out later. Okay, pink. Oh, this is a kind of pinkish purplish, but this is like a newer theory tag. And I just thought this was a really pretty blazer. Um, here's the style. It's kind of open in the front, a little bit of a longer blazer. It's got black buttons here on the sleeve and then here's the back. So it's really pretty. I paid $7.99 for this and it's not focusing on it. There we go. It is a size six and it is a virgin wool blend. Has a style number in here, so I'll look that up. But I was like, ugh, I just feel like this is very modern. I have actually passed on a lot of theory these days because it just sits for me and it doesn't sell very quickly. Oh, this is a Patagonia t-shirt for Ryan. So we got that for him. These are for my brother, but I'll show you. It is Fabletics Men's, which I've never found before, and I've heard it can do better. These, This style is called the Only Pant, and it looks like the newest tags ones were selling anywhere from $40 to $50. Uh, they had them in the women's section, so I'm giving him these to sell. I got this pair and then, like, a tan pair. Okay, these are for Grace, just some American Eagle mom jeans. We found, shockingly, a size four long in the store. The longer sizes are harder to find, so I was glad to find those for her. I've sold this same style before of soft surroundings, only the last one was in a size small, and it took forever to sell, and it sold for cheap, but this one's in a size 2X, so I think it's going to do much better. It has this big gold zipper on the front. It is red long sleeve and it is a polyester blend so yeah i think that should do good like i said the plus size of soft surroundings always does better i think this is my last item and it's eileen fisher again yay size large so here's the pants they are like another Pull on a stretch pair of pants. These ones are made of organic linen. So that is great. I probably will steam these. I don't steam a ton, but when they're like ultra wrinkly, I'm like, okay, maybe I should. So I'll probably steam those. They have pockets. Just a really comfortable, like casual pair of pants. And yeah, oh no, I, okay. These are the other pants for my brother and it looks like there's one more thing in here. So Fabletics Men's, I guess, pick that up if you see it. And then my last item is tiny. Oh, it's just a sports bra for myself. So never mind. Nothing exciting. Okay, guys, that's it. So I'll pop in with my numbers here in a little bit. Total sales amount, $1,011. I took out $202 for a 20% flat 
fee, also $151 for my cost of goods. That leaves me with a projected profit of $658. So yay, that was a pretty good haul. That dress was amazing. Everything else was just kind of like, eh, okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up on the way out. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all the things. I'll see you on Friday for my What Sold video.